In today's video, you'll learn how to repair and maintain your Maytag washer. We'll be discussing error codes, troubleshooting, and repair tips to get your appliance back on track. For more repair information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Maytag washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Maytag washer error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code. Lock or LC. Problem. Control lock has been activated. Fix. Touch the control lock button. Or on older models determine which button activates the control lock from your owner's manual. Some models require you to press and hold the button. Code. Debt. Problem. Detergent cartridge not detected in the dispenser. Fix. This is on select models. If you are using single load doses of detergent, ignore this message. Ensure the dispenser cartridge is inserted correctly and the dispenser drawer is shut completely. Code. Int. Problem. The cycle was paused or cancelled. Fix. The washer may take 20 to 30 minutes to stop spinning and drain and will display this error code during that time. To remove the code, press the pause or cancel button twice and the power button once. If the code is still displayed, unplug the washer or disconnect the power for one minute. Code. RL or F34. Problem. Items were detected in the washer during the clean washer cycle. Fix. Remove items from the drum and restart the clean washer cycle. Code. Sued or SD. Problem. There are too many suds in the washing machine. Fix. The washer will not be able to spin out water with the excess suds. When sued or SD is displayed, the washer automatically extends the rinse time to remove the excess suds. During this time, the washer pauses the tumbling and adds water for additional rinsing. This pause allows the bubbles in the suds to break. This pause and rinsing are necessary and may occur several times to eliminate the suds. Code. F5E2. Problem. The door is not locking properly. Fix. Check that there are no items blocking the door and it is closing completely. Press the pause or cancel button twice and the power button once to clear the code. Code. F7E1. Problem. Indicates a motor speed sensing error. Fix. The motor can not achieve the correct speed for the cycle selection. Check that all the shipping bolts have been removed and the washer has not been overloaded. Code. F81 or low FL. Problem. The washer is sensing a low flow of water. Fix. Check that the household water supply is turned on and both the cold and the hot water faucets or valves are fully open. The water inlet hoses are not kinked. Learn more about how to check your fill hoses. If your washer is not filling, there are no anti flood hoses and controls in the water line connected to the washer. Learn more about should I use flood safe devices on my front load washer. Press the pause or cancel button twice and the power button once to clear the code. Code F8E2. Problem. This indicates there is a problem with the dispenser system. Fix. This is on select models. Verify detergent drawer or detergent cartridge is not clogged with detergent. Code. F9E1. Problem. This indicates that drain times are longer than expected. Typically over 8-8 eight, eight minutes. Fix. Make sure the drain hose is not kinked or clogged. Use the U-shaped drain hose form on the drain hose. The standpipe drainpipe height requirements are 96,244 cm maximum and 3999 cm minimum. Code. Other F sharp E sharp code. Problem. Indicates other errors. Fix. Unplug the washer or disconnect the power for one minute and reconnect it again. Reselect the cycle and press start. If you're looking for help fixing your Maytag washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Maytag washer troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Not spinning or draining. Step 1. Assess the load. Overcrowding your laundry with too many clothes or not enough can affect the water fill. Also, make sure to distribute clothes evenly before operating. Step 2. Determine whether the washer is plugged into the electrical outlet. Reset your circuit breaker if necessary. Step 3. Remove any kinks from the drain hose. Unclog the utility tub's drain if necessary. Step 4. Close the washer's lid securely to add pressure to the lid switch. The lid switch prevents the washer from operating when the lid is open. If it is closed but still not working, the switch might be defective. According to Maytag, the washer's built-in failure feature will keep it from spinning or draining until the lid switch is replaced. Contact an authorized Maytag service provider for assistance if you suspect a malfunctioning lid switch. Leaking. 
Step 1. Avoid overcrowding your load. An unbalanced, heavy load can contribute to excessive water fill that can leak. Slide the washer away from the wall to view the back panel. Check to see if the water hose is securely connected to the machine. Step 2. Replace the entire hose if you see punctures. If the hose is in good shape, replace the internal washes only. Invest in new steel or plastic outer tubs if they are rusted, punctured, or split. Step 3. Unscrew the access panel and search for leaks inside the internal compartment as the machine fills. If leaks appear as the cycle continues, then replace the pump. Turn off the washer and unplug it from the electrical outlet. Carefully tilt the washer upward to access underneath the unit. Use a car jack so the washer will not tip over as you perform the work. Step 4. Loosen the two motor mounting bolts with a wrench to lessen the tension on the belt. Disconnect the pump hose and unscrew its mounting bolts with a torque wrench. Unclip the pump pulley with your hands. Once the entire pump and hose are removed, install the new pump by first. Sliding the pump lever into the agitator slot and aligning the belt with the pump pulley. Step 5. Line up the bolt holes and tighten the mounting bolts. Reconnect all hoses and snap in clamps. Pull against the motor to create tension on the belt. Then tighten the rear motor mounting bolt. Fasten the mounting bolt located on the motor's opposite side. Place the washer back onto the floor and plug it in again. If you're looking for help fixing your Maytag washer, look no further. Our comprehensive Maytag washer repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Maytag manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Maytag appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. My Maytag washer wants spin. Lid switch assembly. The lid switch assembly prevents the washer from spinning when the lid is open. If the lid switch assembly fails, the washer will not spin. To determine if the lid switch assembly is defective, use a multimeter to test the lid switch for continuity. If the lid switch does not have continuity, replace it. My Maytag washer is making a loud noise during the spin cycle. Bearing. The tub bearing is mounted in the middle of the outer tub. The tub bearing helps to keep the inner tub spinning smoothly. Replacing the tub bearing is a very involved repair and will require disassembling most of the washer. If the tub bearing is defective, we recommend replacing both the outer tub and bearing. Maytag washer want agitate. Agitator repair kit. If the washer want agitate, Replacing the agitator repair kit may solve the problem. The kit contains the agitator components that are most likely to wear out and or fail if any of the parts are worn out, stripped, or damaged. Replace the kit. Maytag washer want drain. Drain pump. Sometimes, small objects or articles of clothing can get caught in the drain pump. To determine if anything is blocking the drain pump, remove the drain pump and check the pump for obstructions. If the drain pump is clear of obstructions, but is still noisy during the drain cycle, replace the drain pump. Maytag washer vibrating or shaking. Shock absorber. One or more of the shock absorbers might be broken or worn out. The shock absorbers dampen the vibration of the washer tub. If one or more of the shock absorbers are worn out, the washer will vibrate or shake. Sometimes, when a washer is moved to another location, the shock absorbers can separate. Check the shock absorbers to ensure that they are positioned correctly, and inspect them for damage and wear. If one or more of the shock absorbers are broken or worn out, we recommend replacing all of the shock absorbers as a preventative measure. Maytag washer fills slowly or will not fill at all. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the washing machine. If the water inlet valve is defective, the wash may fill slowly or not fill at all. The water inlet valve requires sufficient water pressure to function properly. First, check the water pressure to determine that it is adequate. If the water pressure is adequate, try cleaning the screens inside the water inlet valve hose connection ports. If the washer still fills slowly, replace the water inlet valve. My Maytag washer is leaking. Drain pump. The drain pump pumps water out the drain hose. If the drain pump is cracked or damaged, or if the bearings are worn out, the drain pump may leak water. The drain pump is not repairable. If the pump is leaking water, replace it. Maytag washer want start. Timer. The timer is frequently misdiagnosed before replacing the timer. First check all of the more commonly defective parts. To determine if the timer is defective, 
Consult your washer's wiring diagram and use a multimeter to test the timer for continuity. Maytag washer want spin or agitate. Drive belt. Inspect the drive belt to determine if it is broken or if it is loose on the pulleys. If the drive belt is broken or loose, replace it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.